This is video number eight for cello players. And in this video, we're going to be playing number six through nine in your Essential Elements book. Now, before we do that, you need to get a couple things ready. I need you to have your instrument out with the end pin adjusted to the correct height. I need you to have your chair, your rock stop on the floor in the correct place, your music stand right in front of your chair. Make sure you'll be able to access your rock stop, so angle the the stand that way, and open in your book to page number five. Once you've done those things, go ahead and pause the video now and get yourself ready. Once you've done those things, join us again. I'm going to move my music stand to the side simply so that you are able to see me and what I'm doing here. Okay, before we play, let's check our instrument posture. So scroll height is correct. You should have already checked that. My right and left leg are in front of the legs of the chair. I've taken a baby step out. I've done a triangle with my toes and my end pin. Arm is straight. I'm gonna sit on the edge of the chair and lean the cello back. So the peg is behind. I have to adjust my rocks up a bit. The peg is behind my left ear and it's hitting me right on my chest, okay? Before we play number six, we're gonna do a little bit of echoing with our metronome. Each day we echo, it's going to get a little bit more complicated, okay? So I want you to do, start off with something easy, just four Ds, echo me four Ds. One, two, break, say, and go. D, 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 now A's. ready to play number six through nine. If you did not do the previous video where we learned all of the little the musical terms and, and information in the shaded box at page five, you need to pause this video now, exit out, and go back and do that because I'm not going to teach that stuff. We're going to just play through it, okay? Also, if you missed um, the video where I showed you how to use my EE library in Essential Elements Interactive, that is a great tool when you play along with me on this videos, I will be using my EE library, simply because that's what's on my phone, and to play along. Now, you might remember my EE library repeats it. It does it twice. Um, it's going to announce number six, and then we're going to play number six, and then it's going to click again. Remember, the four clicks tell us the speed of the music. Remember, speed in music is tempo. Here's number six. Six. Jumping jacks. One, two, Ready and go. D, 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 press. D, 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 press. D, 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 D. Okay, at this point, if you did not get that, if that was too fast for you, rather than playing along with me on these, I'm going to recommend you use EEI, Essential Elements Interactive, because you may change the tempo on that one and go slower. The other cool thing about that is you can change the background music for, to your liking. Let's go ahead and go on to number seven. Oops. Seven. Seven. Mix them up. This one's a little trickier. One, two, seven, and go. D, E, D, rest. D, E, D, D, rest. D, Trouble with that one, pause the video and get it till you can get it right at a good tempo. 
and then try it again, rewind in the video and try it again, or do it at your own pace with my EE library or EEI. Um, going on to eight, I will tell you the tricky part about number eight is the counting. Counting meaning keeping in time with where you are in the measure, counting one, two, three, four, and not playing during the rest. Now don't forget, number eight has a repeat sign. So what do we do? We go back to the beginning. Okay, number eight. Eight, count carefully. Watch your music and go. because you're used to playing three notes before you rest. There's only two. And if you look at measure three, the rhythm is a rhythm we've not seen before. The rhythm for now for us means the combination of quarter notes and quarter rest. It will get more complicated. But a quarter note, a rest, a quarter note, a rest. That's where most people mess up. And you're gonna notice in this book, the measure threes tend to be the tricky ones. I don't know why always a measure three, but the measure three is where people mess up. So practice it. If you really have to go slower, absolutely fine for you to initially do it without a metronome or anything. But once you kind of have a grip on, okay, I can do this. I can keep a steady tempo. Then start trying to get your tempo up to what you can do, uh, what my EE library tempo is. All right. Let's go ahead and go on to number nine. When you are ready and when you have successfully played the nine. others. Number nine. Essential elements quiz. Careful with that very and first measure. Include the writing measure. exercise in your book D, before rest, playing. D, A, rest. One, two, right, say, and go. D, rest. A, rest. A, A, D, D. Now, tricky here. A, D, rest, rest. D, A, and repeat beginning. D, rest. A, rest. A, A, D, rest. A, trickier than the others. D, rest. A, rest. A, A, D. Now A, D. A, D, rest, rest. D, A, and don't forget to repeat. D, rest. A, rest. A, A, D, rest. A, D, rest, rest. D, A, D. Now if you did, we're doing really, really well. And for some reason, when we got to that one, you just totally got messed up. That's completely normal. There are very few of my students that can play number nine or number eight even perfectly the first time. And I would say less than half of them play number seven perfectly the very first time. Okay, so give yourself a break. You're just new to this. It looks like, oh, it's just these two notes. Yes, it's gonna get more complicated. It's gonna get more fun, but it starts here. And you will get it. You can get it. You just got to practice. If this was easy, everybody would do it. All right. You can do this, but give it some time. Don't be like, oh, that's too fast for me. I can't do this. Slow it down. Take some time. Then try this video again with me or simply by using my EE library or Essential Elements Interactive. Either way is fine. Or with a metronome. That's fine as well. But remember, keep a steady tempo. No such thing as the right note at the wrong time. Okay, and I will see you in our next video.